Hi again. Thank you for your grace. We are now in part five, which represents grace of unbridled to walk. And we are just starting to talk about what 10 to the solar eclipse that is happening is the part two of what is the or what will be and by the time 10 2 comes around what was part one which is the lunar activity so the solar eclipse that we'll see on 10 2 is a partial solar eclipse and we saw the total solar eclipse on 4 8 of this year and this partial solar eclipse is happening with great meaning and significance because it's falling on a biblical feast Moedim. So when that happens, we need to pay extra careful attention because Father God's heart is more open as he is saying, I'm going to remember you and all the things I've promised you are bringing into my recollection and I'm going to move for you. Are you with me? Are you willing to go deep? Are you in intimate connection with me? Because that is actually the key. Yes, it is. That is actually the key. So it is a spiritual world that makes this material world move. That is why I keep talking about heaven, heaven on earth, because it is a, a true option for those that are willing to believe. If you would just believe all these things, signs, miracles and wonders, death to die and life to fully be all can happen and happen now for you. So this is a second solar eclipse and it's described as a ring of fire. The solar eclipse will be visible from, let's see, let me read, from parts of South America, the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, and Antarctica. Most of it will be visible over the ocean. To me, that underscores the depths of the sea that God's churning and turning and bringing about to, to spit out the things in the dark realm that need to be found out and laid bare so they can have their assignments canceled in Jesus' name. So astronomers call this annular eclipse of the sun an annular eclipse and that name comes from the Latin word for ring, annulus, and that's because it refers to the outer rings of the sun's surface and it's visible at mid-eclipse. And though it may not be as dramatic as a total solar eclipse, still to me in, in the spiritual sense when we're talking about all these rings that are going to be evident if we're very clean, keenly focused and paying attention, it talks about the covenant ring of eternity that God is offering to us ever, always, and presently. So the eclipse will last 223 minutes. At maximum eclipse, those along the center eclipse path, the sun will be, it says, just over 86% covered. Hmm. So... I think that's interesting because 86% to me talks about that this is an invitation to a new beginning from eternity, which is calling us to understand what parts of us, what parts of this earth need still to be brought into oneness in the flow of heaven. What can heaven still supplant by your willingness so that there is a full flow of God's pure love to go into every realm, region, and domain that is the the intimate crevices, the new mind that he wants to bring you. It's your, it's your privilege to decide. So I, I want to reiterate something that it is in our full active surrender that our being becomes like the likeness of holiness, the Holy Three, Father God, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit. And as we make the choice to find ways within and practice a life of returning to Hashem, Teshuva, return to our Creator, Father God, we can do it from a victorious place seated in the heavenlies because of what our brother, king, and glorious, majestic Prince of Peace did for us. So when we live there with the foretold Messiah in the heavens, our bridegroom, then we can understand how and why he loves Father God's children, us, so much. And he, the king, is calling to you and me, wake up. Waken, come back to life, explore with me the depths of the riches that I have for you from Father God's decree. See, he has full authority and power to release 
so much and release you from the shackles that are preventing you from absolute total freedom. Unless you are fully free and unbound, you cannot receive the fullness of glory and riches that are waiting for you. Don't hold back because God doesn't want to. So I am encouraging you to prepare to be brought to a high holy place in uh, intimate uh, understanding as you lay low and wait he's going to lift you high and into his heart these high holy days are a time of awesomeness with father god who loves and is shifting his remembrance the promises he's made to us but from generations before these are things that are growing 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 not depleting but multiplying as the generations pass this is the richness of the ab abundance of a perfect love from above so he is looking to fulfill, elevate, and um, really honor those that love him so much that are truly his. It's a privilege to be part of God's family. So I want to say that this is all about pure love, right? And this isn't anything that has to do with human reckoning or wishes of romantic eros love or even phileo love. This is a pure pure agapeo love that never fades only grows deepens and makes you whole it's the only kind of love that will and can it's the kind of love that we are made from and called back to in the coming age to return to the beginning again <laughs> cycles going up and up and up it's it's the way of father god elevation and joy and freedom and oh it's a, a love that's sacrificed Everything died a gruesome death on the cross, was surrendered to allow Father God to resurrect Jesus himself, the King, and make him King of Kings, so that by his taking back of dominion that was given over to the devil, we can also live in that victorious place of absolute shalom, where we can change the atmosphere, we can change material reality by the reality the truer than true of heaven's beingness. This is available, you see. It can be. So we are to love one another as we are totally, fully, utterly loved by Father God. We can bring out the best in ourselves and one another and this way will others truly know that we are God's family. So yeah, this is how we know who is of pure light and that there truly is God's love in a war that is the difference between life and death. There is so much at stake. Heaven and hell are real. There is a war in the unseen realm more real than you can imagine, more real than this hair or this material earring or even this prayer shawl, more real than you can imagine. And what Jesus did was to bring you from darkness into his full light but you can't appreciate it unless you've lived in the dark and have been taken to what you may call hell and then been brought back see he wants to save you from all of that may you never know what it's like to gnash your teeth and wish to die because all that he wants for you is to live that you truly want to live and live within him safety sweetness abundance eternal life so it's a love, an eternal love. And I am grateful to be able to share this because I have been set free and can live in love and be loved and live in full freedom abundantly, eternally. I'm going to leave you with a prose from 915. Yes, I have a minute of time. It's entitled Husbands because this month is uh, an act. It, it, it forms an acronym. Elol forms an acronym saying, I am my beloved's and my beloved is mine. And this is the prose called Husbands. Such a privilege to be uncalled, to be called by you, called from ash into beauty. Such a joy, especially to be called yours. I belong to you, Abba, and you brought me back to live life and enjoy, to really live for the first time free. Free to live in love, to be loved so fully, and now you've made me desire to remain for the time needed for kingdom come. 
my heaven sent match forged in holy spirit fire i love being wed to you bridegroom king and i love being married on the earth my king i can love without fear i can be loved and allow the sweet your promise of this now coming new year honey on my life fruit of your lips through mine we are headed into the way of true life ways of abundance by lord jesus christ apple of your eye truly living because of you living sacrifice overflowing with the seas of joy cleansing all that was Poseidon's fury before even marine devils have been beached, wickedness in the depths of all the seas and seasons subdued. I love being in the sweetest place, blessedness being so loved as husband and wife. This is the life you've destined and a dream just beginning to be. Two beloveds mantled by grace united, a love never to end for all time, unending, renewing covenant, blessed to be in truest love. And now I've come to the end of all five parts of bridled, unbridled rather to walk and may you walk in a place of glory heaven on earth that is your privilege and right if you should choose to go into the deep consecration deep calls unto the deep and he's asking you to come alive awaken to me your king is calling you indeed i bless you and i'm so honored that you are even still listening to this i'm jane justice park and i thank you and i wish you um well until the next time Bye bye